I like Where's that. Greg? Greg is in WrestleMania Town. He's, he's, he did an amazing uh, WWE 2K24 he did. He did. showdown. He did. Learned a lot of production-wise on that, but it yeah. was so much fun. Because you have so many people yeah, on that. It's just mayhem. But that was awesome to see Greg up as the ref. Taller than our truth Whoa! Did you know that? I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah. If you were watching, he stands next to R-Truth. Yeah. Taller than R-Truth. So yeah. now you get a good gauge of where Greg would be in the superstar world if yeah. he only, you know, put on 100 pounds of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I, I'm sure he didn't. But I, I, I like to think that him and Cody met eyes as they're walking Locked backstage. In. Locked and in. Then Co- and then Cody just fucking looks at him and then Greg just puts up the one. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? He I would. remember. I remember. Greg would absolutely do that. Put Greg would one. absolutely do I'd that. I'd do it. I'd do it. I love it. Oh, I know you're not playing wrestling without me, oh my Mike. God. I know <laughs> you're not <laughs> doing that without the 2K champion. That kind of funny. The 2K, 2K champion. champion. <laughs> How did you get here? That's fucking crazy, man. What are you doing here? I didn't want to let you down. Oh, no, my God. You're the best, sure bro. The early flight they get here. Dude, shout out to Greg Miller. All right. well, tell, tell me about the show. I'll tell you right now. As close as I am to Bear right now, as close as I was to The Rock. Whoa. I there was a yelling. halo of cameras in front of him, so okay. I couldn't like talk to him, but yeah. he was right there. He was right there. Somebody shit. put you on Reddit. They were like, Greg's yelling at I the rock. That, that, and I watched that. I was like, that's amazing. Yeah, no, it wasn't me, sadly. I was back. Oh, that's so cool, though. I met his daughter. She was very nice. Oh, really? That's great. You know, met Jade, Jade Cargill. <gasps> Made sure to sit down, and I was like, hey, Jade, I host this show, blah, blah, blah. I just, you need to know you're awesome. You're killing it right now. She's like, oh, thank you so much. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, she's amazing. We just talked about her. So close to greatness. Downloaded her. Yeah, yeah. That's Ran great. Into that dirt bag, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Put the one up. You just put the one up. You just look at him and you just say, I know. He's like, <laughs> uh, here's this son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? Mm-hmm. That's so funny. That's awesome. Then we hugged, of course. No, that's, mean, nice. <laughs> that's awesome. That's sick. There we go. Okay, sounds like a packed day then. That was good. I've made the most out of this. So, flights were good. Yeah. Landon, tell me about Not Sam Roberts' podcast. Oh, what a great thing. Like, I, I, what's I the one-man show look I'll, like? I won't lie to you. I just legitimately forgot I went to that. <laughs> I, I know. That's why I had to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had much to leave you all. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday night when I landed, I dropped my shit and then went to the Not Sam show. Went right there. It was not a one-man show at all. It okay. was him. It was his co-host from the bump, Megan Wright. Oh, Chad yeah. Wright, she, I, okay. I met her. She's lovely, too. Um, and then it was Mark Henry, World's Strongest Man. Oh, my God. Uh, it was Johnny Gargano. It was Johnny Gargano's wife, whose name escapes me, but is also a wrestler, so it's pretty embarrassing. I can't remember her name. She's mainly NXT, so I feel okay with it. Um, who else was there? Our Truth came out. Oh, All oh, these yeah. people hilarious. You know, Mark Henry did five minutes of stand-up, because I guess he does stand-up comedy now. And then Our Truth at the end told the whole story. Like It was literally like... You know, like a wind down question. Yeah. And our truth launched into the fact that he almost had his leg amputated <gasps> when he was out for this last injury. And nobody knew this on the panel. They were all like, what the fuck? Whoa. What a story to be a Holy part of. Shit. How- Candace LeRae. Candace LeRae. Oh, awful human being right now. Just despicable. Candace LeRae. Yeah, she tells people their face. She gives the honest truth to them. They don't yeah. like that. Feels Whoa. so bad. She just wants to win right now. Don't we all? She just wants to win, Roger. She's sick of losing. Now, okay, so he had a bunch of people on. Yeah. Just vibe and hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody talking. You know, he brought them out one by one and then went to every state. A lot of people in the building, of course. Yeah, he had a good, he had a good crowd. He had a good, good crowd in there. I was there. Uh, uh, Queen of the Ring Alex came, of course. Oh, that's awesome. You know her from WrestleMania Ring, yeah. everybody. Uh, you had... Uh, uh, um, Did you see Simon Miller? No. Oh, Simon shit. Miller's doing the collective stuff, the indie stuff I went to last night. Okay. Time. He's doing that tonight. So oh, I don't, shit. I, don't, I was hoping I'd bump into him somewhere, yeah. but I never did. Okay, that's all right. And how was it like traveling all around, finding all these different places? Was it bumping all around the city oh then? Oh, my God, dude. It's it, like you want to talk about, like, again, something I think that L.A. didn't have because of how spread out it was. Yeah. Was just the fact that, like, Philly, like, downtown Philly is all about me right now. Oh, like, that's there. so cool. Like, WrestleMania World's fucking insane. I'm sure you have seen clips and stuff and the, all the... Uh, Different. Ooh, ooh, for reverse, for reverse. Fuck. This is how the match is gonna go. Yeah. Whoa. So what's the layout of WrestleMania World? <laughs> so it's the Philadelphia Convention Center. Shit, we are just reversing everything. Yeah. This is awesome. Roger's been getting good. But he's trying to get me to talk about wrestling while I do it, so that's okay. Cool. He's a cheater. Yeah. I love doing that to him. Big flying forearm. So much 
Yeah, tell us the in-depth story of what you were doing over there. Yeah, while it, I beat in your the ass. convention center, sick. Like you said, that was the big thing missing from Hollywood was, oh, they're doing Raw and SmackDown all the way out in the middle of downtown LA. Oh, is that we're, how it was? We're out in the middle of Inglewood, right? So like, we're not it's there like, unless you again, really want to move. What's interesting about it, you know, is it's the same way though. Lincoln Field is not close to downtown, so like, it, it was weird. Like, uh, your boy and my boy, John Drake, hit me up today, right? And he's like, damn, it, it looks like it was. It, this is a way better setup for Mania than it was for LA, right? Okay. I'm like, well. I really can't judge because what I did this year is the thing I always want to do, which is go there and experience all the things around. Get there me. early and be yeah, able to yeah, do exactly. it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always want to do like be there for a week and go to all the indie shows and do everything and obviously go to Mania and Raw. <clears throat> but this is the first time where I've ever actually done it, even though I didn't stay for the big thing, right? So it's this giant trade-off. Uh, but like downtown, yeah, like it's the convention center is uh, WWE World. Okay. Obviously, then you have like Reading Terminal Market there, that like awesome food place with a million different cool. shops and stuff cool. like that. Uh, but the convention center, it's insane. It is just so fucking huge because you go in and it's like put a video right, but it's like the superstore. I've been to a lot of superstores. Like yeah. this is outrageously large, like just ginormously That's large. Sick. And shit everywhere, right? Awesome. Bought that sick jacket. Love sick it. jacket, bro. <laughs> Great purchase there. Goes well with your sweatshirt that you got, I which know, I right? really yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Jen says teal's my color. We just figured that out. So oh, cool. I can see that. Are we yeah. calling that teal? The eagle. That's what she said. It's I'm gonna green, call it green. green. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But she got the. She got to realize. So I'll, I'll take her word for it. But yeah, I think green is. Yeah, I think the green is nice. And so, like, uh, yeah, that was all great. And then, like, then it oh, in the back, or you could go into it on its own, was, like, the world exhibit, which yeah. was, like, the in-your-house thing. Oh, shit, yeah, they're yeah, give, I saw that. They're doing tattoos there. There's tattoo people there to get, get to tattoo with WWE things. Rhea Ripley got a tattoo. Okay, yeah, of course. Cool. She's getting a tattoo. Yeah, that's sick. It's right. Um, yeah, they had the Firefly, Firefly Funhouse there. That's cool. Awesome. They had the ECW entrance set up that you could come make with the smoke machines. That's and all. Awesome. Like, And, of course, there's outfits and props yeah. and all this stuff. There was Gotta a tattooed air exhibit that you... Wound through that had costumes and signs and things from it, whatever. It was cool. And then the ginormous stage, but then there's like a smaller stage, and then there's a Pat McAfee section where he's doing the show from today. He did the spit the water with Triple H. Yeah, yeah. sick, that. Yeah. sick looking. And then uh, there's like a giant photo op area of like for you to like pose with wrestlers. Like Cody was there for a long time, Bailey was That's there, or whatever. Uh, then there's a there's video screens everywhere, giant belts, all sorts of belts. Like it's just like. Walking through all the props and all that stuff is fucking awesome. That's oh, awesome. that's cool as can be, man. Yeah, that's how it's got to go. And then the indie, indie shows, how was that? Awesome. I mean, like, you know, the big one for me, obviously, is going to the ECW arena. You know? Yeah, I was going to ask about that. So tell me, so was that also like a like an indie thing? or? Yeah, was, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah for sure. That was WrestleCon, right? So okay. it was like, uh, when I had, uh, when I was originally coming in, uh, like on Wednesday, I was I just worked from the plane the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> God, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm not sick, I swear. It's just still trying to exit my body. Uh, oh, every time it gets you. Yeah, I know, you right? Every time, every time I oh, so oh. cool. So anyways, coming in. <laughs> You're never going to finish the story. Finish my story. <laughs> Is that the one that we see Rob Van Dam and it looks like a giant theater? Is that no, no, is that's this the, the that's the ballroom? But is that, where's that where at? Were. Where's this ballroom that's at? That's New York. That's oh, okay, ballroom. cool. Yeah, when that motherfucker's up there and he's doing the run. It's so cool. He's so cool. See any best friends out there? Anybody oh, yell at tons, you? Dude. Oh, really? Man, so oh, that's awesome. I, I was so excited when I heard the kind of funny chant. Uh, oh, that was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, as usual, it was the weird mix of people being like, oh, I, I love you. I love Craig Miller? Yeah, and it's like, then it was. I love this is awesome. Oh, I love awesome. this show. And then it was nice. like, oh, I'm a kind of funny best friend. A lot of people would come in with that. I was like, yeah. okay. Like at the Sam Roberts show, the bouncer, big kind of funny best friend. Oh, hell yeah. And then everybody else inside was like, oh my God, you're this is awesome guy. I'm like, hey, yeah, what's up? Yeah, That's man, this is cool. awesome. Watch this show. See any of those guys? DIY. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you saw I was them. hanging with Gargano the whole time. Oh, yeah, Gargano. I watched him on stage there, yeah, yeah. and then we hung up backstage forever. Oh, Because cool. again, we were supposed to go on at four o'clock. The day before, they put up The Rock's going at four o'clock. And so, like, I'm like, all right, that's cool. And then everybody, I, I was like, I assume they have two stages. And then 2K, when I was talking to them that night, they were all like, no, 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 it's, they have one stage. So the rocks are opening now. Oh, wow. And so they're like, that's cool. We're just going to push everything back in a, a half an hour and take a two-hour show down to an hour and a half. I was like, all right, cool. And then you get there at four. Well, we got there at three, right? Everybody's settling in. And then it was like, I don't know, where's the rock? You know what I mean, Ma? And like, I'm hanging out. Like, 4 o'clock, I start, like, getting towards, like, the edges because, like, I want to see through the green room and see where... Because I'm like, I know he's not going to come hang out in the green room. He's got no yeah. time for that shit. And then it's like, okay, no rock. Okay, sure. 4.20, no rock. You know what I mean? 4.30, no rock. 
Like, he wasn't there till 5.30. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in that, so everybody was in a holding pattern back there. And then the production side of that is they had, like, Wale and, like, Fluffy yeah. and all. It's like, like, well, people have hard outs, so we're going to have uh, to, like, figure this out on what's going on. Da, 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 da. It's like amazing, a bro. Amazing. Yeah, Wale was there, bro. Yeah, that I was saw so that. sick. I love Wale. And I said, okay, cool. I see the collective stuff's happening. I see that there's, like, a gajillion shows all weekend long. And on Thursday, it starts at 11 a.m., and they have shows just going, just, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I was like, there's an 8 o'clock show. And then there's this 11.59 p.m. midnight show. And I was like, again, I've got to be up to leave for the airport at 4 a.m., 6 a.m. flight. Okay. So, I'm like, if I get crazy, I'll do it. Told, you know, what's his face out there? Tim? Yeah. You got a dumb idea. I might do this. And he's like, you should do it. It's not dumb. You can sleep on the plane. Don't be a bitch. Like, all right, cool. So, anyway, so, you get to The Rock pushing us super late. Yeah. You get to performing... You get to then play in some tennis afterwards with Legion. I come off. I have not eaten since breakfast. <laughs> since, <laughs> since the crab cake Benedict. <coughs> Go to a, a local watering hole there. Pull up a seat at the bar. Of course, again, the entire city downtown is wrestling fans now. Oh, so that I get there. I'm immediately interjecting myself into a conversation these people are having here about why the rock took so long and what happened to the video game people. I explain that. Then I start a conversation with a wrestling fan from uh, Chicago. Then this other guy we see nodding his head next to me, involve him. He turns out he's production. He works production at WWE. Oh, okay. So we're just here shooting shit, blah, blah. And about this time, Fuego sends me a photo. Was it me? While I'm there, you can start it. Let yep. the entrances go. Uh, I get the text from Fuego del Sol. Oh! Big Fuegs. Did I leave him out earlier? Because I told Yeah, you did. I, you I did, did. Greg way. Sorry, so I'm confusing because I told some of it there too. Okay. So earlier in the day, yeah, he had texted me and was like, hey, if you want in on any of the indie wrestling shows, let me know. I'm your man. I'll be at everything. Awesome. I'm like, oh my God, dude. I'm like, I'm considering going to this midnight thing. He's like, oh yeah, I'm probably going with that too. I'm going to go to Wale Fest. And then he's like, uh, did you, or Wale Mania. He's like, and also, did you know they're doing a show at the ECW arena tonight? I was like, fuck, I did not. You know that's my dream. I'm like, what time? He's like, seven. I'm like, oh, I'll never make it. Like, this thing I have to finish and I'd have to go and yada, yada, yada. And he's like, okay, cool. Just keep me posted. So I'm at the bar and I get a text from him and he's, it's, I'm gonna fuck it up, but you, you, you know her name, Kaylee Coco. Co- from oh, of Big course, Bang yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaylee Coco. Get a name. photo, and he—it's him and her at the ECW arena. Cause like, who's? And I'm gonna fuck this up too. You know, I'm not the biggest indie slash Hollywood guy. The the guy who was in Tanya Harding as uh, the guy who hurt her, who's now a wrestler. There's this guy from Hollywood who's now That's wrestling. Tanya, okay. He just fought with Matt Cardona. Chat, you know exactly who I'm talking about. So let me know his name. He was main eventing the ECW arena thing, and so she was there to watch him. Anyways, I was like, it's still going on. And he's like, yeah, I'm like, how much longer? And he's like, mate, I think an hour and a half. And I was like, fucking, I'm on my way. So I ran upstairs, changed shirts. Oh, yeah. Paul Walter Hauser. Yes, that is him. Thank you very much. Uh, grabbed a shirt, put on deodorant, ran down, got in an Uber, ran over there. And like, you know, pull up, I get out. It's got an ECW sign on it. I'm like, oh, fuck, take a photo. And Fuego's like, come on. He's at the corner to walk me in the back. He's like, come on. The main event's going on. And so we go in there. I just walk in and it's the fucking ECW arena. You know what I mean? A place I've watched so many times. You know what I mean? Have so many memories of. And so in there, <laughs> Hauser's beating the shit out of some guy. I don't know who. He's Hauser's bleeding profusely. There's tacks all over the ring. They're slamming each other into him and shit. And then like, the bad guy grabs a kendo stick. And uh, he, I figured if he hit him or if he just got ready to or whatever. And then like the lights go out. And they start playing Enter Sandman, the Sandman's theme, and fucking so Sandman sick. comes out of the crowd with beers and starts pouring him into people's mouths, and just like he used to. But like, it's funny because Fuego had mentioned like when I was there, he's like, oh man, you missed it, RVD was wrestling, and Sandman was here, and this, that, and the other. I'm like, oh fuck, that would have been fucking awesome, you know what I mean? And so like, this bit happened with like, the ref got knocked out, so Fonzie, who's the old ECW ref slash Rob Van Dam manager, came out. He was going to be it. Then he got threatened, and then that's why Sam A comes out, right? So you get the whole thing entrance, and then he's doing, he's old, you know, understandably, and he's pouring it in there. And Fuego's like, if you notice, he's not drinking him anymore because he doesn't drink anymore. Aww. I'm like, oh, that's funny. I didn't yeah. even notice that. He's just pouring in people's mouths or whatever. Fucking awesome. Sam A gets in there, canes the shit out of that's him. That's awesome. Turns the sh- cane over to Hauser, lets him beat on him. It's like, fucking awesome. Uh, you know, that's the end. That's the big finale. Uh, we went backstage for a little bit. I saw Sam up close. So then it was like, we went out to look at the ring. Uh, I got to meet Fonzie. took a photo with him. Shit. Then I went and got the photo with the ECW mural. That's it was awesome. like fucking insane, all this shit. And then he's like, all right, cool. You know, he's, he was skipping Wale Mania and going straight to the collective thing. I was like, all right, let's fucking go. 
So I get in the car with him and his friend. We shoot over there. You know, everybody's waiting out front. We go through the back again because we're, re- we're wrestling. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. And so they're still finishing up their walkthroughs up there, but it's, like, so gorgeous of, like, the indie scene of, like, basically the space that's used for meetings or weddings or whatever, and they've just got the ring there and all the yeah. chairs set up and the two little bars and shit. And it was just fucking... And they come in, there's such great energy from an indie crowd like that. Like, all these fans who are there at midnight to yeah. watch these people wrestle. And there were so many great matches. The ones I posted were great. There was a, a, a women's match that went the 30 minute time limit to a draw. It was like fucking awesome. Wow. They're beating the shit out of each other. It was so fucking good. Really great wrestling, really good stuff. <laughs> I loved it. That's so fun. Yeah, had so much fun. Hell yeah. And then yeah, ran back to the hotel, slept for maybe an hour and a half, yeah. went to the airport. Oh God my damn. gosh. Yeah, Ron Q says it best. It sounds like a fever dream. <laughs> right. Yeah, for sure. It's amazing. Bye everybody, I love you. It's been fun hanging out. I'm excited for WrestleMania, the Hall of Fame and everything else.